So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus is a better option than the iPhone 13 Pro. Don't believe me? I got 10 reasons why in this video. If you're triggered and you're an iPhone fan, don't worry. We're gonna talk about in the next video why this guy beats this guy, but it's not the case here. Let's begin with the very first one with the Galaxy S22 Plus. And it's not really the color, it's more screen size for a cheaper price than the iPhone 13 Pro. So with the Galaxy S22 Plus, take a look at that difference. We're talking a phone that's similar in size to the Max counterpart with a punch hole versus this huge notch. And you're gonna get yourself very thin bezels on that Galaxy S22 Plus. And guess what? It's less money. It's simple as that. It's a better value, more screen size for less money. Number two is the screen all the way around the board is just brighter. It simply has a higher peak brightness. Now, if you're wondering, well, it doesn't look that way, there is a simple tweak you can do with the Galaxy S22 Plus. Go down here to display, scroll down, and Samsung has listened and has added the extra brightness mode. When you turn that on, you will find yourself the ability to tweak this to ridiculous levels. It's overexposing the camera. This phone is just simply a brighter phone. Take it outside, you won't struggle to see the 13 Pro, not at all. But the Galaxy S22 Plus will be easier to see. So a brighter screen. Number three, this phone actually has more RAM available than the iPhone 13 Pro. And you actually have a way you can actually use that RAM. You can go here in the device care memory, go down here and take a look at this. RAM Plus will allow you to utilize that RAM up to your liking. You like six, you like six gigs, go for it. You like eight gigs. It's there for you, my friend. But over here on the iPhone 13 Pro, you're stuck with the six gigs. Not that that's a bad thing, iOS is optimized, but at the same time, more RAM, less money, driving home the point, this is just a better option than the iPhone 13 Pro. Number four is going to be the USB-C right here. It's a more universal charging port. I can't tell you how many times I've been using the iPhone and be like, ah, oh, it's lightning, I can't use my USB-C on there. Because so many products use USB-C. It's not like USB-C is a proprietary port. You can find this port on cheaper Android phones. Other products even, you can find it on, you know, accessories and stuff, like other products have this port too. So it's much more universal and lightning gets in the way sometimes. It's a reason that you can consider picking this over the 13 Pro. Next one, and number five, is a more versatile camera setup for, again, less money. I wanna make that point known about less money because you're getting a lot of value with the Galaxy S22 Plus. If I do hit the 3X, you can see we have the ability to digitally zoom 30X. Now, why is this important? Because this 30X is actually a little bit more zoom than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Yes, this one does have the 15X as well, they didn't jump out on this one at all this year, but 15X, I, 30X is just a better deal. Plus, not only that, if you go in the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus camera app, you'll find yourself all these different features. I mean, this is pretty incredible, the fact that you have all these different options in your camera, like it's really cool. Plus, here's another kicker. You do have yourself the 8K24 video recording. Now, you might not, not ever need this much resolution and it does eat up a bunch of your storage, but here's the thing. You cannot do 8K at all on an iPhone. You might see it this year on a 14, we'll see, but not yet. So 8K video recording is pretty phenomenal. Yes, it's shaky as ever, but put this thing on a tripod, hold it steady, and you're gonna have some movie-like quality. I think the camera setup on here I'm not saying it's better quality. I think it's a better setup though. It's a little bit more versatile, I think, than the iPhone 13 Pro with the feature set. If you're looking for pure quality, stay tuned. We'll see if that's an option on the iPhone 13 Pro. Much longer battery life is not really a thing for the Galaxy S22 Plus over the 13 Pro, but it is a little bit better. It actually has a much larger milliamp hour battery. It's over 4,000. This one's barely cracking three on the iPhone 13 Pro. 13 Pro users are saying, shut up, Nick. It's still amazing battery life. I agree, I will shut up. 
Just kidding. The iPhone is great, but this phone right here has a very good size battery in here. So I do like that for longevity reasons. Um, as the cells age and as it wears down, this one will probably hold its capacity a little bit better than the 13 Pro. It's That still remains to be seen, but just having a much larger battery for, again, less money and still long update support, I do like this pick over the 13 Pro. And number seven is Dex. You just cannot, I can't get over Dex, man. Like, if you don't have a computer, which if a lot of people just use their phone as their computer, all you need is a laptop, a cable, and you got decks. You can even use the phone as a keyboard and a mouse trackpad if you don't have those accessories until you get one. But those are really cheap. You can find those things at dollar stores now. So definitely this phone is a computer in your pocket. This phone more of an iOS mobile experience in your pocket. You're not going to go much further than that. And number eight, and this one matters to a lot of people and kind of many were disappointed that they didn't get this feature for the iPhone 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max, but it's always on display. And Samsung doesn't only give you always on display, they actually take it a bit further with customizations to that always on display. We've been seeing this for years, but it seems like they keep adding more like air emojis, bitmojis, theming options. I mean, it just gets better and better every year for this always on display, whereas we still have yet to see it, even though Apple is using OLED, wondering why we haven't seen it just yet. Got to give that to the Galaxy S22 Plus, why this is the better phone over this device in terms of which to buy. Now, the next one at number nine is that not only is this phone giving you that sleek build, it's absolutely gorgeous right here. It's lightweight, but it's lighter than the 13 Pro. Like, yeah, some people quite heavy with premium, but this one strikes a really good balance because this is not a light phone, don't get me wrong. It's 195 grams. This one's over 200, so you could say it has a slight more heft premium feel, but Samsung's Galaxy S22 Plus is almost, you know, like light, but still heavy enough to feel premium at a bigger size. So I actually like how this feels. Like, I feel like I'm getting a similar size phone in terms of what my hands got to deal with, with the 13 Pro, even lighter than that, but getting more screen. That feels like value when you compare these two side by side. So that's definitely in the strong area for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus for sure. And at number 10, I'm gonna cap it off with something related to charging again. This phone right here has 45 watt fast charging. That's much faster than the iPhone 13 Pro. So if you're looking for reverse wireless charging, you could also get that on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. What I gave you here are actual, most of them were mostly hardware based. So you had decks in there as well. Battery is physically actually a factually larger battery. But the 13 Pro, I called it the perfect phone in a previous video. And for iPhone users, definitely is. That's why I said that it was geared towards the iPhone user. And there are are some ways that the iPhone 13 Pro is better than the S22 Plus and we'll find that out in the next video but these are 10 ways S22 Plus takes a beat down on the iPhone 13 Pro if you found a video helpful entertaining and informing click the like button for me I want to know why you think S22 Plus is better and if you don't agree I'd love to hear it down below thank you all for watching have a great day Nick here be sure to be well I will catch you all in the very next episode and peace